Okay, so today we're going to be working on thoracic, so upper back mobility. What we're finding a lot is people have neck and lower back aches and pains. And sometimes that can be due to a stiffness in the upper back. So anywhere from the collarbones down to the base of the ribs would include your upper back. Um, so we want to try and unlock the ribs, unlock all the connections and attachments of the ribs to the vertebrae of the upper back. Now the upper back very often we're in this kyphosis, right? We watch our screens here, we sit in the chair here. So we want to think of getting as much length as possible, but if you think of straightening up your back with a rounded upper back, a lot of times we think of getting straight by throwing the belly forward without actually lifting out of the rib cage. So we want to think much more of bringing that breastbone and those doors that I like to call here at the base of the ribs to open and lift so that you actually get out of that kyphosis and watch what happens to the neck here as well. As I lift the breastbone and open the doors, I naturally return to a curve in my low back and the natural curve of the neck comes in here and the shoulders will naturally fall back rather than staying in a kyphosis, trying to stand straight and roll the shoulders back. So we want to think of elegantly and effortlessly lifting out of the spine to gain some range of movement in the upper back to free the neck, to free the lower back. So today we're going to do a lot of work in the chair. So just get a regular kitchen chair that you have without wheels, a solid base. Have a back to your chair, no arm rests. And if you have a yoga belt, great. If not, go and get yourself a light towel, long enough, maybe about that wide, that you can twist and grab with a twist. Fletcher towel work is uh, going to be included here a little bit. Um, if some of you haven't heard of Fletcher towel work, it's uh, work that uh, Ron Fletcher created um, in the Pilates industry to help open up the shoulders and the thoracic spine especially. And remember that all the muscles that or around the shoulder girdle are connected not only to the head but also to the pelvis so you might feel things going on in the lower back and pelvis so if you can go and grab your belt keep it close by I'm gonna keep it on the back of my chair or your towel come sit at the front edge of your chair with the feet flat on the ground and just ground yourself here not only in the feet but also in your sit bones so just play with your position Front to back sit bones, right to left, and center. You can rest the hands on your thighs and just catch your breath. Allow the jaw to soften, the shoulders to melt, and really become aware of your breath. If it helps to put one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly, inhaling, feeling both areas move. In, in, out, out. Inhaling, trying to fill up the breastbone with air as if it pumps up. Exhaling, you're going to go and let that head fall forward onto your chest. Inhaling, roll up through the neck, breastbone lifts. Exhaling, letting that head fall onto your chest. And I want you to become aware also of the pelvic floor, the deep core muscles sealing and inhaling, releasing. As we do our movements today, every breath you take is going to be a little bit more forceful than usual through first lips. And you want to think of really engaging that core to initiate your movement. Now this time, exhale, head down to stay and turn the chin towards one shoulder, inhale, opening up the corner of your jaw up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, down to the shoulder, semicircle around the chest, across to the opposite shoulder, inhale, corner of the jaw up to the ceiling, letting those shoulders fall back. Exhale, circle, inhale, open, exhale, circle, 
Inhale. Breastbone lifts. Center to hold. Roll up as you breathe in. Center on your spine. Exhale, turn the head one way, over to the shoulder. Inhale, center. See if you can gain a little bit more length through the back of your neck as you turn. Inhale, center. This time, exhale, turn to stay. You're gonna take your opposite arm to the back of your chair. See if you can grab hold of that and let that shoulder roll back as you breathe in and out here. Lift this side rib cage up to the ceiling. So if you're turning your head to the right, it's your left rib cage that's lifting. Breathing into that lung. Imagine you can inflate that balloon, hot air balloon in the lung. Exhale, release. Release the arm, release the head. Back to center. Turning the other way now. Rotation, your chin stays parallel to the floor. Opposite arm reaches to the back of the chair. Let that shoulder roll back. And breathe now into the other lung. Some of you might be able to even take this into a little extension and pull it forward. And back. Releasing the arm, come back to center, take an inhale. Pull the elbows back, open the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, exhale, just pull in through the belly, hollow, to roll back so that the back of your spine meets the back of your chair. Inhale, reaching up, pull the elbows back, pinch the shoulder blades together, lift the breastbone up to the sky. Exhale, pull the belly button in and roll back so your upper back meets the chair. Keep going, I'm gonna show you side arm here. And last one. Now this time, inhale, roll up, pinch the shoulder blades. And as you exhale this time, you're gonna wave the body forward over the legs, leaving the heart forward. As you exhale, scoop the belly muscles up so they detach from the thighs, roll back, reaching the fingertips to your knees. And inhale, articulate from the lower back up through the spine, lifting the breastbone, pinch those shoulder blades, and wave the spine over the thigh. You're trying to get as far forward as possible. Exhale, scoop the belly muscles in as if you're trying to get your lower back to meet the chair. Reaching the fingers forward, inhale, roll those shoulders back, lift the chest. Exhale, roll back, reach the fingers. This time, inhale, up, and exhale. You're going to wait down this time to stay. Release the head and neck and just do a little side-to-side -side movement here with your rib cage. Inhale, length and exhale, roll back, fingertips towards the knees. And this time you're gonna take the right hand to the left into a little twist. Inhale, now same as before, pinch the shoulder blades, lift the breastbone and wave over that one leg. Turning again in that rotation, stay there and roll back. Inhale, let's do three. Exhale. Now sometimes here one sit bone on the opposite side could lift. I really want you to try and ground yourself into that opposite sit bone as you wave through the spine. Now this time circling the, the hands to the opposite leg, inhale, lift the chest, pinch the shoulder blades, wave over that side, and exhale, scoop the belly and roll back to meet your chair. Inhale, up. Lift the breastbone, reach it forward. Exhale, scoop the belly muscles in. So you're kegeling here a little bit to assist you. My opposite sit bone is grounded. Last one. Inhale to center, roll up. And let the shoulders fall and pause. Now already you should start to feel some heat within your system, which is fantastic. So we're gonna bring the belt to the front. If you have a yoga belt, see if you can fold it in half. So you have a loop. I'm not looping it together. Rather, I'm gonna hold one end where the buckle is and then twist the belt a few times so that I have a little bit of elasticity to the belt. I'm gonna do one more here. 
So that way, when you pull the belt, you can feel that elasticity, and you can feel also the shoulders rolling back. Without that feedback and that elasticity, you wouldn't feel the movement up in your shoulders so much. So once again, ground yourself in your sit bones and in your feet, and see if you can really stack yourself on top of your sit bones with your head. You're going to reach the arms forward, long and straight. There's no bend. I want you to reach those knuckles away. And let those shoulders fall back and get a little bit of a squeeze between the shoulder blades. Being very careful you don't hyper extend your back. Right? We want to maintain our groundedness in the sit bones. So inhale. Pull. Exhale. Release. Notice the inhale. Open the rib cage. Exhale. Close the doors. Arms a little higher. Inching your way up a little higher now on every breath. Always lengthening the arms forward. Notice the collarbones starting to spread apart. Giving you a little bit more room across the neck. Now if you remember I have a frozen shoulder on one side, which this kind of work really helps. It hurts, but I'm working through it with my breath. I get blocked around here, but I want you to see if you can get your arms up all the way by your ears. You're going to push the ceiling away. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Bring the belt to your floor right in front of your toes. I'm always pulling the belt apart. Release your neck. Now scoop the belly muscles in. Reach. The arms forward as you lengthen the spine back up. Once again, inhale, pull. Now lift all the way, push the ceiling, lift the ribs. Think skinny waist, wide ribs. Think hourglass shape. Exhale, reach forward, dive to your toes. Always spreading the belt and roll up through your spine. I'm always lengthening my arms. Inhale, pull, lift. Hourglass, skinny waist, wide ribs. Exhale. And release and give yourself a little mini break. You can do a little shoulder roll. Circle the head, the head around. And the other way. And back to center. Double check where you are on your sit bones. Find neutral spine, lengthen, and go again. This time we're adding a side bend. So, little pull on the belt. Inhale. Lift the arms as high up over your head as you can. And as you exhale, now we're lifting the ribs on one side, always reaching the arms away. Care if you don't buckle here. Inhale up, going the other way. Push the belt away, pull it apart as you try and open up the ribs. Now here again, see if you can keep those arms in line with your ears. I can't on one side, so try not to just copy me, but really feel your body and where you are with your mobility, one rib cage compared to the other. Sometimes we're stuck on one side. Coming back with the arms to the front, little mini break to add on. So this time inhale, pull, lift the arms. As you exhale now, just the arms are going, not your trunk. You want to bring the arms close to your ear as possible. Inhale, lift up on that side to then side bend. Inhale to center, L-shape arms to the opposite side, reach up, and then exhale side bend. Inhale, L-shape, pull to the back slightly, exhale. Now my lower abdominals are working here a little bit, so I'm not hyperextending too much into that lower back. Inhale, up, and exhale, dive to your toes, round back, head releases, neck releases, shoulders release, and inhale, roll up through your spine. Adding now, inhale, lift, exhale into that side bend, and now see if you can just roll back towards the back of the chair, grounding your two sit bones, I'm kegeling here, inhale, coming up into the side bend, so opening the ribs up to the sky, exhale, scoop, roll back, meet the back of your chair, inhale all the way up. One more. See if you can bring those arms back a little further now on this last extension. Inhale. Look up to the sky. Come back to center. And release. We're going again. Pull your belt. Engage the shoulders back. Lift. 
hourglass shape, side bend, inhale, exhale, scoop the belly and roll back, meet the chair, the back of your chair, inhale all the way up, see if you can open the ribs a little bit more to the sky and reach, exhale, curl, inhale, up, exhale, last one, a little bit more lift, turn the head, come back to center, and exhale, dive to your toes. Rolling up. Well done. Now, you're gonna take your right hand, I'll do my right so I'm not getting confused. Hold the back of your chair, always with the belt or towel in your hand. Scoop up through the lower belly and lengthen the left arm forward. Now you're gonna go and circle that arm around you. Now my limitation here is not a good uh, demonstration. I have to bend my arm, but if you can, keep the arm long. So if I show you on my other side, my good shoulder, it would look like this. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So I'm gonna go again, inhale, Exhale, now all of you reach this, the belt around the knees, the fronts of the knees come to the other side, and go three times here, or four if you can. In. Out. In. Out, circle to the front, and roll up through your spine. Now for a moment, let go of your towel or belt, let it rest on your thighs, and just do a little cat curl, getting that lower back to open up. And rolling up through your spine. Now this time you're gonna turn sideways on your chair. I'll show you on the other chair so you can see what I'm doing. And once again, I'm sitting closer to the front edge. If this is not comfortable for you, please pull back. So you'll have to judge your position according to what your spine uh, needs. Sitting in the sit bone, you're gonna roll, rotate the upper body to look at the back of your chair. Place your hands there, drop your shoulders. And now we're gonna go into that little wave, but at a much subtler level. I want you to picture all the fluids in your body almost running up from the sacrum, up your lower back, like a current, all the way up to the top of your head. So you get this undulation through each vertebrae. Think about how many vertebrae you have and each one gets knocked with this current, okay? So while you're facing the back of your chair, careful you don't twist in the knees, right? If you want to put a block here between your knees to give you some stability or a pillow, you're going to inhale, lift the breastbone, and as you exhale, slight curl, bringing the head down towards the top of the back of your chair. Inhale, now here's the current from the sacrum all the way up, allowing the chin to lift. Exhale, crashing waves down on the shore. Careful you don't knock your head on the back of your chair. Now gradually this current gets a little stronger, so every time you move, your, your range of movement increases as well. Careful you're not cranking yourself up into this rotation. Now as the movement gets bigger, it's going to look a little like this. Lift the ribs up, lengthen the waist, hang back. And exhale, crashing wave to the shore. Roll up centrally to come back to the center, facing forward, and you just turn around to face the other way. So again, sideways on your chair. Turn to face the back of your chair. Inhale, current up. Exhale, flow down. Top of the head towards the back of the chair as you roll down. So here you're seeing the back of me, so you can see now a little bit more of what my lower back is doing. I'm always doing that little Kegel hollow to make sure I feel the movement also in my sacrum. Movement's getting bigger, the current is getting stronger. 
Start extending the spine, lifting the ribs. You can use your arms here to help you push and pull against the back of the chair. And remember, your two sit bones are drilled into the seat, right? You're not lifting and tipping over out of the sit bones. So one more here. Inhale, lift the ribs and hang back off the back of the chair. Extend. You can open the throat if that's okay for your neck. And then exhale. When you're ready, come forward, crashing wave to the shore. And inhale, roll up through your spine. And back to center. Very good. So we're going to take the chair now and turn it so that you can straddle your chair. Bring your towel with you. And hold the back of your chair here. Inhale, current, lift the ribs. Crashing to the shore. Now push the back of the chair with your arms, curling under the tail. Really tuck it in, scoop the belly in. And inhale, lift the chest up, roll your shoulder blades together and hang the head back to bring yourself forward. My chest here is gonna touch the back of the chair. I let the head fall forward and push the chair away with both arms. So sideways, it will bend like this. neutral. Taking your belt. Now here you're going to have to play around with the length of your belt according to what you're capable of doing, but you're going to hold both ends of your belt and just let it hang in the front of your chair. Inhale, hold the corners of your chair, lift your chest. Exhale, roll back, push the chair away, round the back, tuck your tail in. Now this time you're going to anchor one hand onto the back of the chair and take the belt around the head to lift the chest here. Now, if you feel stuck and the belt doesn't allow you to go further, that's what we want. We want rather you to lift up through the spine, pushing up into the belt, all the way to sitting. Exhale, roll back. So I'm keeping the tension in my belt, adding this little side bend with the flexion and extension. And coming forward, release. I'll show you the front on, same thing. So rolling back. Tuck that tail in, hang back off your arms. Opposite arm now releases to circle around the head. When you feel stuck, this is where you pull the belly button forward, ribs up on one side, and exhale, keeping that tautness in the belt. So you're pushing away, hang back. Inhale, exhale, one more, and circle to the front to release. And last but not least, now we're going to add a little torsion, negative torsion, so that means extension and rotation. As you breathe in, lift the breastbone and arc back, and then see if you can just look over one shoulder, come back. Look over the other shoulder, come back, do one more each way. Lift the chest, exhale, neutral. Fantastic. So from here, facing forward on your chair again, sit at the front edge. Now open the legs nice and wide. Spin your belt, twist it a few times so you get that nice elasticity. And inhaling now, we're going to reach up, think hourglass again, skinny waist wide, wide ribs. And as you exhale now, you're going to twist, inhale center, twist, inhale center. If this is too much with the arms overhead, don't worry, do it with the arms in front of you, but try and keep that tension on your ropes. Your shoulders are always rolling back. Now here sometimes as we do our rotation, we kind of shift off our pelvis. I want you to try and stay right on top, so two sit bones down. Now you're going to add a circular movement here, so exhale, rotation. 
Inhale into the side bend to go up and over to the other side. Rotate, face the floor so that you, as you restack, you end up in this twisted position to come back to front. Other way. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale into the side bend. I really keep that tension on my belt. Lift up, sweep the clouds. And the other way, circle. Face the floor so you're looking over that hip to then restack, sorry, restack here in the twist to face forward. One more time each way. Inhale, pull your belt. Exhale, twist. Inhale into the side bend. Notice how I pivot my arms around my head to lift, sweep those clouds over to the other side and exhale. Inhale in the twist here to come back to center. Last one. Inhale, belt taut and side bend. Inhale up. Exhale, look over the hip. Inhale into the twist, nice and tall. Exhale back to center to release. So now just letting the belt go, place your hands on the inside of your knees. Take the feet wider if it feels right. We're gonna go and dip forward, leaning into those knees. So my hands are pushing my knees apart to then exhale, dip one shoulder, look over the opposite shoulder behind you. Catch your breath here. And really think of bringing the side waist towards the floor. Getting a little deeper on that next one. Remember your current running through your spine. Try and see if you can feel that subtle undulation from sacrum to head. Inhale, coming up, over to the other side. Inhale, exhale, going a little deeper, finding more length and turning that sideways to the floor. Inhale all the way up and release. Now already you should feel quite a lot better, quite a lot more mobile across the diaphragm, ribs, the neck should feel a little freer, the shoulders should feel a little heavier. So we're going to switch now to the mat. So you're going to move your chairs out of the way and then go and get your mat. So coming to your mat with your belt or towel, we're going to come to a side kick or side position. Again, twisting the belt here to give you a little bit more elasticity on the belt. You're going to come down onto your hip, on the elbow, bring the elbow under your shoulder, and make sure that you're not sinking into that shoulder. You're really going to try and push the floor away, lifting your ribs up underneath you. So there's no sort of on the beach, you know, <laughs> we're going to really work through that oblique system on the side waist. Your lats here are working also, so think armpit pulling down towards the waist. Bottom leg is bent for more stability. Top leg, straighten it out. Now you're going to hold on to your belt here with the bottom hand as the top hand lengthens into that belt. Inhale, circling around. Turn the nose to the sky if this is okay for your neck. Exhale as you bring the arm forward, turn the head and look down to the floor. If this is too much for the neck, just keep the eyes facing forward as you work and try and open up from the waist all the way up the ribs to the armpit and arm. So think of this sling of muscles running from the hip to your elbow. Opening the ribs, staying here, see if you can circle that top leg to the front. And if this is enough for you, stay here, trying to remember not to collapse, right? You're gonna open up and lift the ribs. You're gonna lift the foot and flex it, pushing the heel away, and then point the foot semicircling to the back and see if you can reach the arm forward on the opposite diagonal. And I'm scooping my belly muscles up here. Inhale as I bring the arm up, Lift the ribs, swing the leg to the front, see if you can add that flexion. Point, exhale, cross diagonal twist, scoop the belly muscles up. And coming back, inhale to center, and exhale, release. 
Now from here, just push yourself up, splitting the legs open. So you're in a classic mermaid position. If this is not comfortable for you, don't worry. Rest one leg over the other or knee over knee, whatever you prefer. You can also put a pillow or a block underneath this uh, supporting hip. So holding on to your belt again, you're gonna take the arm, same arm as the front leg to the floor and inhale, circle and reach. And as you exhale now, I want you to take that arm around as far forward as possible and scoop the belly muscles in backwards in opposition to that arm. Circle the whole thing around to the opposite leg. And inhale here. Reach up and open on that side. Exhale. Circle. I reach as far forward as possible. Anchor the hand. Inhale. Open. Exhale, lengthen, semi-circle around the legs and anchor the other hand to lift. Coming back to center square and roll up through the spine. Very nice. Over to the other side, side lying. Up on the elbow. Again, don't sag, pull your body up. Lengthen out through your waist and inhale, open. Exhale, close. Turning the head up. Exhale, turn the head to look down. Adding the leg. Inhale, I sweep the leg forward, open. Ribs to the sky. Exhale, reach the hand forward on the opposite diagonal as I reach and twist and lift through my obliques. Inhale, semicircle to the front. Add the lift and the flexion if that's okay for you. Exhale. Remember, I'm never collapsing into the shoulder. I'm trying to stay lifted. And finishing here, back to center. Get a little bit more length if you can. And then exhale. Oh, come back. Walk your way up to the mermaid position. Opening the belt, anchor, inhale, exhale, circle around the legs, inhale. Now remember this movement initiates out of the pelvis, up the spine, remember your current. Ground yourself in the pelvis and find as much length and lift out of your trunk as possible. Last one here. And to center, to roll up. And pause, lovely. So last but not least, we're gonna go into some extension work. So here, you're gonna come down onto your tummy, bring your belt with you. And again, with the belt folded and twisted, you're gonna bring the arms out in front of you. Now, here we're gonna be sliding the hands, so if you need a towel underneath each hand, go for it um, to help you slide. It can be done without, but it depends how much weight you have in your hands. Also optional here, you can have the legs parallel. If you have a lower back issue and it feels a little bit sort of sticky or tight, pinchy, then do open the legs for a little bit more release through the low back and you can anchor a little better into your toes maybe and lengthen the tail towards your heels. So let's maintain our length through the low back, lower half of the body and think of the crown of the head reaching forward. Now once again, pull on your belt, get that tautness on, the, on your belt with the shoulders pulling back. Now inhale, bend one elbow, lift the chest and ribs on that side Exhale, lengthen away. I'm keeping the belt taut. Other side, bend the elbow. Inhale, press into that hand, gave a little bit of twist. Opening the rib, exhale, slide it away. Shoulders back, inhale. Here my pelvis does not follow. We try and keep it on the ground. And in, and out. Now bending one arm, Put the fist in line with the forehead, lengthen the other, and if you need a little bit 
more tautness in your belt, you can walk your hand down the belt. And then you're gonna circle that arm around as far away as you can and really roll that shoulder back. Come back. So it's inhale around. Exhale. As you reach the hand to the thigh, see if you can gain a little bit more shoulder roll to the back. Lift and exhale. One more. Switch. So up. I lengthen away. Inhale. Circle. Exhale. Around to the front. Now the wall for me is in the way, but I know that you know what you're doing, so don't follow me. Just find that length, the semicircling arm around the body. And finishing with that last one. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Both hands now long in front of you. Taut belt, shoulders back. Both hands sliding towards you. Inhale. Lift the breastbone forward and think a little bit here of gaining a little bit of core work to support the extension of the spine. Coming down, slide the hands away. Pull the belt, shoulders back. Drag the floor towards you as you lift the breastbone forward. And exhale as you slide forward. Imagine you're creeping your way out of the lower back. A little bit more length out of the low back on the way down. One more. Remember, you can open the legs wider here. If you can get higher, do so. And exhale. Coming down. Release. Walk the hands and belt behind you. And here I'm going to give you the choice to hold your belt as wide or as close uh, as necessary. If you don't need a belt here, you're welcome to lace the fingers together behind you and hold this. For today's video, I'm going to use the belt. So we're going to think again of anchoring those feet down, the knees extended, lengthen the tail out so the lower back doesn't feel compressed, lengthen through the back of the neck, and then put a little bit of pull on that belt, so hands pulling away from each other, so the belt is taut, the shoulders roll back, and just breathe here. Remember the pump of the breastbone as you breathe in, the doors open in the front of the ribs, collarbones roll back, exhale. Try and hold your height. Don't collapse. If you want to add a little bit more, inhale. Tip one side over. Hand to the floor. Exhale, center. Inhale, tip. Again, it's just the upper body, not the pelvis. So you really want to hold that pelvis down. I like to imagine my breastbone as a flashlight. And I'm shining the light forward and then trying to look to one side with that flashlight. Finishing here, inhale. And exhale. Release the arms. Turn the head one way. And if you need to, just rock the pelvis from side to side to give the lower back a little relief. Feel the current running through your spine. It's almost its energy, your chi. And bringing the hands under your shoulders. Roll the shoulders back. Reach the breastbone up. Push into your hands and then into your knees. And walk your knees forward so that you can then sit back into child's pose. Gradually get there if it's a little sort of tender in the low back. This is more active. If you want a more passive child's pose, bring the head to the floor, arms back, and just breathing here. Try and feel the movement now of the breath in your belly and ribs, expanding against the thighs as you inhale. And remember your breath is three-dimensional. When you breathe in, you want to feel not only the front, but the sides and the back also inflating. Remember, you can do this on all fours if this position is not good for you. So you would just be in a cat curl, tucking that tail and head down and breathe. Whatever 
position you've taken, just slowly walk back, rolling back, hands to the knees, head rolling up on top of the pelvis. And see now if it's a little easier to breathe. As we did in the beginning, can you feel the two areas moving like a wave? Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Hands together, namaste. Mm. 